I'm out doing my uh, daily walk. And I stopped along the beach. Figured I would do a live. From one of my favorite spots. Beautiful day today. It's probably in, feels like it's in the 80s with relatively low humidity. I forgot to put my phone on do not disturb. So every time I start a live, I get a call. What's up, Spot? How are you? Evan, what's up? So this is uh this is like the golden time right now. It's golden time because the schools are still open and during the day people are at work for the most part. And uh, the beaches are relatively, you know, quiet. So it's a good time if you have a warm day in the early part of the summer to get to the beach. I figured I'd just share the view. It's not, it's more windy on the microphone. It's not that windy here, today's spot. But the wind is actually a welcome uh, feeling when you're live, when you're here rather, because um, you know it takes a little bit of that heat away. Actually, just stopped here just to take a look for a while. Share this view. I may do a live later today, maybe a 6 p.m. live, 5:30, something like that. Because I haven't done a live in a while. Keith, what's up, buddy? Yeah. You got out of school last week. That's cool. So just a beautiful place. Just a nice place to chill out. You can park your vehicle back here. And the sun sets over here at night. Sagin, what's up, buddy? How are you? So right here, you park your car. If you have a Jeep or a truck with a tailgate, you have the tailgate down and you can watch the sunset. Very nice place. Ah. Just a great view. And this is a nice little walkway here that goes up that way and then spirals around and then we go up a staircase into sea cliff which is a pretty interesting little town Arnie Pax what's up buddy so I think I'll be back later today, maybe 5.30ish. Uh, kind of cover some things I've gotten in the, in the mail. It's a beautiful area, Evan. 
cover some things I've gotten in the mail. So uh, a couple of vendors, a couple of different companies have sent me some sample kits and I'll share that with the audience later today. So one, one product I'm so into is a product called Mr. 1920 and it's grooming products, primarily cold pressed soaps. It's like a revelation, guys. It's just been really, really cool, really awesome. Uh, all natural hand pressed blocks of soap with just tons of different varieties of smells. My favorite so far has been Eucalyptus Falls, which is just incredible. Citrus smell. Mike Vance, what's up, buddy? So I'll show you the view here. For those of you who are just joining, I'm in beautiful Seacliff, Seacliff Beach view. Just a calm place if you're looking to walk, reflect, get some vitamin D going. Evan, you will you will enjoy that shave logic, my friend. You will not be disappointed. I wish I had an affiliate code to share. I am so jazzed about Shave Logic. I'd like to be the Shave Logic guy. The Shave Logic, the face of Shave Logic. Happy almost Father's Day to you too, bruh. Mr. Mike Vance. I think I'd be a good Shave Logic spokesperson, don't you think? Uh, I'd do it. I would totally do it. I would be the Shave Logic man. All right, you guys are just interested in the view. You don't care about my ugly mug. <laughs> During the nightly news. All right, I guess it's time for me to get back on the road. I got to get back to work. I'd like to sell ice to an ex Eskimo, but um, for right now, I'll, sh I'll sell the shaving products. <laughs> What's up, Daniel Hannon? What's up, bruh? Ugh. All right, so let me... I'm going to start my app, and I'll start my walk back. Our money has joined. Well, let me show you. Let me show you a little bit of, of my walk while I'm doing it. So again, they have this whole wall here that looks out onto a spectacular sunset. You got all these nice benches here. So if you want to walk down here, <laughs> you want to see me on QVC? <laughs> oh man. All I had to do it, I money. I had to do it, bruh. I money is a spam waiting to happen. a nice place to come. Look at that, guys. It's 
for those of you who just joined, I am going to probably go live a little later and talk about some products. It's hot where you are. Hey, Arnie. I'm probably going to come back about 5.30 today and uh, talk about some products that I received, some gift products, samples that I received from some shaving companies. The CMO is doing great. Thanks for asking. How's your graduate doing? Congratulations to Katie. You had your first iced coffee from Honeydew. What is Honeydew? Is that like a store in, in your area, Dan Han? YOLO, what's up, bruh? Coffee is good. Iced coffee is great in the summertime. So right here, I don't know what this is, but there are candles here. Picture of a guy. Candles and some balloons. Uh, I'm not going to get into touching it, but I want to assume that somebody did a dedication. Javalia. Yeah, maybe he died. Yep. Sad. I've never had Javalia, but I love their commercials. All right, so here's uh, here's what I was talking about, guys. I'm gonna take this these steps up into Seacliff, the town of Seacliff, little little town of Seacliff, New York. Edward, what's up? What's up? I mean, these are some stairs, guys. It's, oh, it's a very safe area, yeah. I mean, as safe as any other area, right? Honeydew is like Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. How was it, Dan? I don't like to see trash especially in such a nice area. It's a little overgrown too. Tilly Steps Historic Public Walkway. Somebody should trim the grass. Ooh. That was a climb. All right. Now hopefully this little road leads toward home. Interesting little place here. Yes, Edward, I agree. They need to trim it up. Not sure who's responsible for it. Because some areas Some areas do their own thing, you know what I mean? Whew. Whew. What's the temperature? Probably like 85. <sighs> Pretty
probably like 85 with 45% humidity. And just hilly. This hill. This hill will take it out of you, boy. So Vance, I just finished my water. I just finished my water. Mike, what's going on here? Hold on. Got a nervous driver. Doesn't want to back out. Check this out. You see that? There's a unicorn, a big blow up unicorn in this lawn. Hopefully I can get a a view of it. It must be like a party for a party or something. I can't see it. No. Can't get a good shot of it. So I'm in a town called Seacliff, New York. Small. I tell you. I'm in a little town called Seacliff, New York. Very, very small. It's as soon as you're in it, you're out of it. On the North Shore of Long Island, between Glen Head and Glen Cove. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, you need to, you need to open your wallet if you're gonna live here, anywhere on Long Island. It's very difficult. If you want to live well. I money you shave with a limited edition. That's good, bro. Yeah, I'm probably about an hour from New Jersey. Right now, Captain Will. Maybe an hour. Ten minutes with um, traffic. Sorry about that. Hola, Eduardo, what's up? Eduardo, rather. My buddy. That's hard. But he's doing it. It's a tough one. <laughs> Have a good day. So here's the thing around this area that is been going on for like the whole, it seems like forever. And I got a guy looking at me. He's like looking at me like, yeah, you're not coming this way. So I got to try to figure out how to go here. Because all the roads have been like closed down. They're doing their repaving roads. Which is not great for a walker, I'll tell you.
Can I walk down that way? Uh, is there sidewalk? Sidewalk? Is there sidewalk? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to get there. Okay. Just be careful. All right. Thanks, buddy. No I appreciate problem. it. You have a good day. Okay. Not great for a walker, but he was nice enough to let me go down. I hope. I could have lied about that. And I don't know if they're sidewalks. If not, I'll come back. I mean, what are you going to do, right? It's got to be annoying. It's got to be annoying for the workers as well as the... Uh, as the residents, you know? But, when this is all said and done, guys, look at that. Look at that. Nice, new, beautiful asphalt. See if I can make it down. <laughs> Dude's too cool for school. All right. Hopefully I make it down and they're not blocked up off over here because I may have to go all the way back if it's blocked off. But I see a guy with a dog coming this way. So if they let him through, chances are I can get through. They may not love it. See the dog? Oh, they live there. Ah, beautiful house. All right, let's see if we can make it through here, guys. Looks promising. They may not they may not be happy about me. There we go. There we go. Uh, uh. Thank you. Thank you. Not happy with me, boy. Here's a nice little park. I like to come and hang out at along the route. more beach sort of beach line there's like miles and miles of it around here All right, well, that's about it. I'm close to home now, so I will uh, be signing off. I got to go to work. It's just a nice lunchtime walk. I've been uh, 
really going hard at the exercise since it got, I guess since we got into spring, trying to reduce the COVID-19 around my midsection. I'm pretty pleased with the results. And the older you get, guys, the harder it is. So what I would suggest if you're, if you're younger than me or any age, just try to stay active because the moment you stop and you do a lot of the couch potatoing, it just doesn't get any easier. But I will be back about 5.30 today. I'll be talking about some new products that I just got shipped to me from various manufacturers. We'll kick it for Friday live about 5.30. I'll see you guys later. Keep pushing play, y'all. Keep pushing play.